Hello, it's Alex here from wpeagle.com. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a website on a .co.uk domain and um, install WordPress and basically um, get a fully functioning website up and running in basically no time at all. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you're gonna need is some web hosting and a domain name. Now, my preferred uh, partner in this is a company called TSO Host. They're based in the UK. I use them for lots and lots of websites. Um, they offer fantastic support. The hosting is really fast and it's a great price. I've managed to sort out a um, discount code for you uh, with these guys. You can get 10% off. I will put the code up on the screen so that you can go and use that. And basically when you get to TSO Host, this is what you'll see and you're gonna need to say two things. As I say, you're gonna need your hosting. Um, so if you look here on the website, they've got hosting um, and you obviously need web hosting. And basically this is where you're gonna store your website. So um, you know all your WordPress files and other bits and bobs will all go on your hosting. And it's also where your email will go if you wanna use email uh, with your domain. Um, now you're probably gonna be fine with just the light hosting um, for your first website. You can have two websites on this and 500 meg of space and five gig of monthly traffic, which is probably plenty if you're just starting out. If you need something a bit bigger, they obviously do have other packages as well. So you're gonna to need to go click this button and get that ordered. Um, and I say use this code um, that I've sorted for you and you'll get 10% off that. Okay, you're also gonna to need to order a domain. So um, if you click on domain and click register domains, you can do it either way around. Um, so just do a search for the domain you want. Obviously you you um, will want a .co.uk. So um, do a search for you know my domain .co.uk and do a lookup and it will take you through it. If it's available, you can easily register it. Okay, so um, I'll leave you to go and do that. Um, so yeah, go and visit tsohost.com, use this code, sign up for hosting and domain, get that all registered. Once you've got it all set up and you've got your details ready to go, um, come back to this video and we'll get started. Okay, so hopefully that all went well for you and you've um, got your hosting and domain name set up. Um, I'm logged in now to um, what you see when you first get a, um, a hosting account um, with TSO Host. This is the, um, the dashboard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our first website. So um, yeah, log in with the details that you've just received and then you need to click on add new website. In here you need to type in the domain, which you've uh, obviously just registered. And the domain I'm using today is a domain called boutique.co.uk. It's uh, gonna be a website about ladies boots. Um, now I recommend you just go for the uh, Linux package so click add and it does its thing. It's gonna just set up that website for us. And the website set up. Okay, so this is the uh, the control panel where you get your website and you can set up um, all your bits and bobs in here. So as I mentioned earlier, you can have email accounts and things with your website. So that would be you know your name at your domain name.co.uk. Um, but what we wanna do is get um, our website set up. So the the area that you need to go into is under application options and click install applications. Now what we're gonna install is WordPress. So it's the most popular one there, it's the top one. So just click install. And leave the install path just as it is as that slash and click install application. Okay, that took a couple of minutes, um, but it's all done now. So um, WordPress has been successfully installed. So now if we just click here, we can go over to the website and here we go, WordPress is there. So to log into WordPress, you need to go up into the address bar and type slash WP hyphen admin. And this takes you to the login screen. And now if we go back to um, <clears throat> our hosting screen, it says um, we've it's created as a username and password. So I'm just gonna copy this username, um, copy, and then paste it into the uh, login box and then do the same with the password, which is new install paste that in there too. And now once, once you log in, you do need to change this because um, otherwise you'll get disabled for security reasons. So um, we're gonna do that first, but this is logging into WordPress. And I'll get rid of that message. And there's some more messages here, which you can have a look around, but I'm just gonna dismiss them. So, so the first thing you need to do is change that, that um, password. So let's go to users and then all users. And click on the username. Unfortunately, you can't change the username, so you will have to remember that. 
um, but you do need to change password. So scroll down towards the bottom and you'll see new password and then just um, enter a password. Okay, so that's done and we're ready to um, get started on setting up our website. So let's have a look at the website. So if you click up here, you can see there's a link to visit site and this will take us to the front. And um, basically there's obviously not much on here at the moment. It's using one of the default themes that comes with WordPress. So what we need to do is um, add a few pages and get it looking like a real website. So we're logged into WordPress. So to access um, the back of WordPress, you go up to um, the top left here and click on dashboard and we're back here again and we can start playing around. Now I recommend that we change the theme because that theme that is um, activated um, after the installation is probably more designed for a magazine or a photographer or something like that. Um, whereas something like the 2012 theme here um, is a little bit you know, plainer and um, I think suitable for lots of things. However, you'll probably want to install a premium theme at some point, but um, you know this is a great place to get started. So let's activate uh, 2012, and that's done. So now if we go back and visit the site again, it's you can see it's changed and um, it's ready to, uh, to go. So let's just create a few pages and give the, the WordPress website a name, and um, yeah, let's start there. So let's go to the dashboard. The first thing we're going to do is um, set the name of the site. So all these things you'll find within settings and then general. So let's call it, it's called Boot Boutique. So let's uh, do that. Oh, let's spell it right. And give it a strap line. Uh, let's call it Great Ladies Boots. Now the installation installs it without the www. I like my websites to have a www, so uh, I'm going to add that in there. Uh, it's obviously entirely up to you, but um, I think it's just nicer. Okay, and here is um, where you're going to get emails. Um, you need to put an email address as to where the kind of notifications from WordPress come from. So anything happens on the website, um, it'll send you an email. So um, you know, obviously, put that to whatever you want it to be. Um, and then pretty much that's um, the only settings you need to change in here. Just check obviously all your time zones and everything are okay. I think um, that's wrong for me because I'm in London. So let's see if we can find London, there we go. Yeah, it's a good idea to make sure that's correct. Okay, it's because I've changed to that WW, it's uh, I think, and obviously I did change the, um, the password. So let me put my new password in. Um, which was oh, and that username which I've already forgotten. Digi, yeah, I'm just going to copy that again. So I'm going to log back in. Okay, and we're back in, and you can see now the site is on www. So that's great. So let's start um, by creating a few pages. So um, a great place to look for pages is under the pages section here on the on the left. So and we're going to click add new. And what I'm going to do is create an About Us page. And that's where you put the title of the page in. And then here is where you start to enter the um, the copy and things for your um, your page. So, you know, you can just start typing. I'm not obviously going to write too much. That sells boots. And it's pretty similar to Word in here. You know, you can add some bold text. Um, if you click this button here, you get a few more options. So you can like add headers like that. And you know, this is the body text. I think that gives you an idea. And then, you know, if I wanted to add an image, I can uh, click add media. And then you can upload a file from your computer. Let's see if I've got an image to hand. So um, let's have a look. Here's a nice big uh, irrelevant picture. It's not a picture of a boot, but it's uh, a picture nevertheless. Um, it's one of my video thumbnails. And just click insert into page, and you can see that's done. So if we click publish, that's going to create our new page. And then what I'm going to do is just create a couple more. 
Obviously, we're going to need a home page, so I'll just call that one home page. And again, um, this is the home page. I'm going to click publish. And then one more page, just while we are, let's do a contact us page. Please call us on these numbers. And then click publish. Okay, so now if we go over and have a look at the website, oh, or view this page, uh, let's go back to the home page. You can see that these pages are here. Um, We've got two home pages at the moment, but we're going to fix that in a second. Um, oh, and we've got two about as pages. So, um, okay, let's change this one. So, this is the page I just created. This about here is a uh, example page. So, um, let's just change this to our services. So, when you're logged in, you can actually edit any page you want by using the toolbar up here. So, I can click Edit Page, and let's change this to our services. Or even better, our products because we're a boot site, aren't we? Our products, or even better, our boots. Uh, and then I'm going to change the permalink, which is basically the website address or the URL. So let's uh, make it our boots, so it's nice and consistent. And click OK. Now down here, you've got um, a few different templates, so um, which we'll go into in a, in a second. So let's just click on update. So now if we view this page, now at the moment it's got these widgets down the um, right hand side. So um, this is a great place to put different bits um, of information. You could have you know, your um, MailChimp capture form or you could have some you know, banners, whatever you wanted. Um, so let's have a look at how we manage these. So we'll go back into the, uh, the dashboard. And under appearance in widgets, you'll find um, what are called sidebars. So basically anything that's down the side of a page is called a sidebar. And you can have different sidebars for different pages. Um, but at the moment there's just this main sidebar. So uh, as we just saw there was a search and it's showing the recent posts and recent comments. So if we want to remove or change any of these you can just click them You know, if we don't want recent comments, um, if we don't want archives, um, and maybe we want to add some text. We can come over here and you see there's a text widget. You can drag that up there. And this is going to add it, as I said, to the side of all the pages on the website. Um, let's just have a little thing that says, please buy our boots. They are really great. Then click save. Then if we go back to the, uh, the front of the website, there it is, you see, and, and that will be on every page which has the sidebar. Now going back to those templates which I just mentioned a minute or so ago, if you edit a page and decide that you don't want those um, widgets down the side, you can, this is where the template comes in. You can come down and there is a full width um, page template with no sidebar. So if you select that and click update, uh, and then we view the page, you can see it's now just wide and, and they've gone. Okay, so let's create our home page. So the home page I created is this one here. At the moment, when WordPress uh, comes um, just after it's been installed, it just shows your latest blog posts on the front, which are fine. Um, but normally, you'd probably want um, you know a static home page with your own information. So let's go to the home page that I created. And if we edit this page, what we need to do is set the template as the home page template. Now this will vary depending on the theme you're using, but obviously we're using default theme 2012, and this comes with a, uh, a front page template. So I'm going to set that. And then if we view the page, you can see that it's um, it's got rid of the uh, the sidebar and it's it's ready, just nice clean page to add add what we want to. But the problem is it's not actually the home page because this is still set as home page. So we just need to make one more change. So let's go back to the dashboard. And then if we go into settings and go to reading, here we can set what's displayed on the front page. So we want a, a static page, and then we're going to select home page and then click Save. And now if we go back and view, it's now set as the home page. Okay, so now we've set the um, home page up and it's using the home page template, we can go back into those widgets and we can actually add some widgets to the home page. 
So uh, that makes it easier. So as well as this this content here. So the way we do that, I've clicked edit page, but actually we need to go into um, appearance and widgets again. And you see these sidebars here, you've got the first front page widget area and you've got the second. So again, we could add some text. Excellent boots. So that's one widget and we could add some other widgets to go with it. So we could add um, maybe um, the recent posts and over here we could add add the links. Basically you could add whatever you wanted and the more plugins and things that you add to WordPress, the more widgets uh, and functionality you get. So let's just save all those and see what the website looks like now. There we go. So we've still got our copy at the top but then you get a left and right um, area that you can add, you know, your excellent boot posts or, you know, your blog posts, whatever you want to add. Okay, um, so, you know, here we are. We've got a very basic website. Um, obviously, it needs to add a, we need to add a bit more content, which um, is obviously entirely down to you. Your website is um, for you and you need to, you know, add your own images and text. But hopefully that's given you um, a kind of idea on how you can get a website up and running really quickly and a blank canvas that you can then work on. One thing we do need to do is, um, if you see this menu, I always like the contact us to be at the um, the end of the menu. So I'll just show you how you can you can change these um, these links on the menu. If you go back into the dashboard um, down here under appearance, you'll find menus. Okay, so here are the menus, and what we need to do is create a new menu. So um, obviously we want the home page first, and um, we'll call it home rather than home page. And we, I want the about our boots there, and um, there's two homepage links, so we don't need both of them. Let's remove one. Um, that's fine. In fact, let's have our about us there. So this is going to be our menu. Let's click create menu. Okay, that's it created. And then we need to manage where that's going to go. So click manage locations. There's only one menu on this theme. Some themes have more than one. It's called menu one, our first one. So select that and click save. Now if we have a look at the website, that's the menu we've got. I hope that was useful. Um, obviously there's a lot more you can do with WordPress. This was just a very quick tutorial to show you how to get a website up running on a .co.uk domain. I hope it all went smoothly and you've got a website, a WordPress website now that you can start to build on. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them. Um, obviously, follow me on all the usual social media and check out um, wpeagle.com for lots and lots more videos on how to do really cool stuff with WordPress. And um, more videos coming soon. Have fun.